Hey guys, Persistent Programmer here and welcome back to my channel. So in this channel, we solve a lot of algorithms and go over leak code questions. So if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, smash that like button because that helps me create this content for you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and look at today's problem. We are given a 32-bit unsigned integer and what we need to do is reverse um, the bits we are given. So if we have an input like this, what we need to do is reverse all of this so that it returns uh, this output here. So we're literally going to take each bit and reverse it. So let's look at how we can solve this problem. So we know that we need to res return a result variable, right? So we are going to go ahead and create that result variable. We'll say res equals zero. So this is what we have done. We have created a place for our result. Now we also need a temporary variable um, to hold the values that we are shifting. So we will say temp is zero and we are going to uh, need a way to iterate through um, all our binary digits here and to do that we know we will use some kind of loop right so I can go ahead and say we will uh, use a for loop so for i in range 0 to 32 we know that we need to iterate over all these um, bits so that we are able to change um, and reverse the values. So this is our first step. What we need to do is we need to interrogate each of these bits to see whether it's a zero or one. And in bit shift offer operations, the easiest way to do this is and something by one, right? So if I and zero by one, I will know whether it's a zero or one. Because the only case um, I will get a one is if it is a one. One and one will give me a one. So we can use the AND operator to do this. So, okay, very good. We have found out that this is a zero, so I've used the AND operator. Now what I need to do is position this last bit here um, to the front. So how do I do that, right? So to do that, I've created this temporary integer here, and we will need to move this um, for this case, we will need to move this 31 times forward, right? Because this is at the 32, 32nd position. So let me write out the code so it looks, it, it makes sense how we are doing this. So first thing I will do is perform this, find out what this last bit is, right? So to find out that I can call this the least significant bit. So LSB is going to be um, equal to n, so this is our input here, n, and we are going to times it by 1. Okay, so we have our last significant bit, which is good, and we know from the result of this whether it's a 0 or 1. Now, we want to set the temporary bit here, so we'll say temp is going to be um, equal to so we will take our last significant bit and we are going to move it forward. So we are going to take this and move it forward. So we will do this and how do we know what is, how many, how many places do we need to move it forward, right? So to get that answer, we can take our uh, 32 bits that we know is the, is, is the number that there is, and we will minus it with i. Sorry, I made a mistake here. This should be 31, because we are at the 32 position already, so we need to move it 31 times forward. So this should be 31 uh, minus i. So in the first iteration, i is 0. So we know that, okay, from the 32 position, we need to move it forward 31 times to be at the first position here. All right, so now we have our temp variable set up. So we have the order correct. Now, all we need to do is put this in the result, right? So we need to move this 
from here to our result. So I can say that to do this, we use our um, or condition. So I will say result is going to be equal to the whatever is in the result already, which is zero because that's what I've initialized it with. So it will say result or uh, our temp. So I will say result and temp. So we are taking our temp value and we are using the or condition to or it with the result. So this will give us, because be, because if you do an or condition, you are taking that same value and putting it over here. Last thing we need to do is process our next value here in the end, right? So how do we do that? How do we uh, say like, okay, we're done with this last significant bit. What we want to do is process the next one here. So, okay, maybe I should make this more clear here. So we have, we are ending by one here, right? So I can say that, okay, if I have all these, um, these bits to process and I'm done with this one, all I can say is, okay, let me, um, right shift the end. So what that will do is remove this and we are going to process again with and with one this last uh, bit here which is what we want to do. So we will say n is um, equal to n right shift by one. So this is how we are getting to that last bit. And the last thing we are going to do is return the result. So I will return res here. Okay, let's give this a run. Okay, awesome, accepted and submit. Yay, success.